Hey there guys, this is Akshat from Tech Kindle and today we are going to take a look at the latest OS from Apple for Mac, the OS X El Capitan. So it is a pretty substantial upgrade for Apple because it has to uh, compete directly with Windows 10. So today we are going to uh, see some of the exciting features of OS X El Capitan. So the first thing we are going to see is the new Notes app. So if you just open and click on new note, so uh, what you will see is that now you can create checklists like this and you know uh, they are very helpful because you know earlier you had to go to the reminders app which was not very convenient while you were writing. Also what you can do is you can make bulleted lists, numbered lists along with uh, you know modifying your uh, your uh, heading as heading and not the body and you can also import photos directly from iPhotos and stuff also one more thing you can do with the notes app now is that if you are looking at a link or something for some reason so what you do is just drag the link from Safari just like this and drop it in the notes app and it will create this beautiful preview for you. Now Google doesn't have any images right now at, uh, as it is on the home page but if you are looking at a page that cons consists of uh, pictures it will uh, create a beautiful preview for you. Now moving on to the next thing in, uh, if you go you, you can directly go full screen by dragging it to the top and dropping it as a new window also if like for sub if we suppose you are you want to multitask along with safari and notes like you have just seen so what you can do is drag it drag it here and drop it right besides the safari window now this will create a multi window uh, which apple calls split screen you can adjust the size as per your need and you know you can multitask two, with two things at once now one more thing that Apple has uh, added for screen management is the new mission control which I'll just show you so like there these are three windows open at once but people have multiple windows which uh, they are working on at once so what you can do is just a uh, four finger swipe up and you can see uh, it clearly stacks out different windows side by side with uh, which you can easily access them like this now what you can also uh, access split view by doing one more thing what you can do is hold down this button and drag it here and now it will uh, you know so settings cannot be be, uh, in split view with notes so it has faded it the alpha is below one and uh, so uh, the safari window is highlighted so you just click on it and it will be on uh, the side of notes app but what I'm just going to show you is that you cannot drop the settings app beside that you know it see it does not allow you can see that uh, you know that sign that it is not allowed yeah so there are only some apps that are compatible with split view as of now now the next thing I want to show you is Safari itself so like there are multiple sites that we visit every day uh, like tech kindle for example this is uh, my blogging site and the channel where you are looking at this video so what you can do it if you like uh, visit tech, tech kindle regularly what you can do is just drag it aside and this will create a pin for you like this uh, I have Facebook as a pin I have Ray Wendelich as a way pin and now I have tech kindle as a pin so you know this is really helpful in the way that you can pin sites uh, and also one more thing that I would like to show you is you know it really annoys us when a random video starts playing which it, it, which, it uh, which is not intended to display any 
you know if it is not intended to play any video and it is an ad that is annoying you so in iOS uh, in Mac OS 6 El Capitan what you can do is that if for example an ad or any video of any kind starts playing so what you can do about it is what I'll just show you in a minute see this this icon uh, displays that a sound is being played in the Safari window so you can directly unmute this tab this is really helpful for my part because I uh, often find without my consent which is really annoying so yeah and again you can like uh, pin YouTube as per your requirement like this yeah this is really helpful the pin one so that is it in Safari now uh, we also have the new photos app that you can see uh, it's not really anything big but yeah this is the new photos app that's it in photos and now what I would like to show you is mail app you know mail app has uh, got a pretty good upgrade if you ask me because you know you can do things that you were not able to uh, do before like if and that that uh, I would like to tell you that this only works when you go full screen in mail so like if you are composing a mail to somebody and you have to like copy something from another mail or you know uh, see something else in another mail so what you can do is just click here outside the message tab and it will hide it below now also if you are composing two mails at once what you can do is click again and it will now create two tabs so now you can like uh, create multiple tabs which will help you compose um, this is the new mails app that's it in mails and now um, the spotlight the spotlight uh, is not working as of now because it is a beta version but uh, like let me just check if I type in weather cupertino it shows no results but let me just check if it uh, works for the mail app um no it uh, doesn't work for anything because yeah you know some of the mails that it is displaying right here I have since uh, a week or so so yeah the spotlight is not working right now and maps does not support uh, where I am right now because you know transit is only available in a few countries as of now now that's it uh, one thing that I cannot show you is that the cursor it larger enlarges when you shake it you know uh, but it uh, as I am recording the screen it is not working so yeah that is pretty much it in OSX El Capitan uh, catch you next time peace out